This is my first YouTube video and I would like to talk about the practice that I use which is my favorite spiritual practice. It's called practicing the presence of God. So what you do, you imagine the feeling of what it would be like if God was here, in this room, in your room, with you. And what you do in this practice, which comes from Brother Lawrence, from the 17th century, I think. There's a book and a movie you can watch between. What you do is you imagine what it would feel like if God was by your side, on your left side especially. And this is because on your left side of the brain, there is a part called the left amygdala, which is the center point of bliss and joy and love in your brain. So when you imagine someone by your left side, those feelings are more easily triggered. You can also imagine him above your head, standing there. And the neat trick you can do is, while you're imagining he's beside your back, behind your back, or above you, you can turn to look, but don't look. Just induce that anticipation, and that will cause even more bliss, even more joy. You can also do this with a guide, or with an avatar, or with your spiritual leader, your guru, with Jesus. You imagine him by your side, standing with you, supporting you. And you do this every day. You can do it at any time. As soon as you wake up in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, on your uh, bus ride home, at your work, it takes just a few seconds, but it builds that part of your brain called the left amygdala. So when you go to meditate, you have a much easier access to this bliss, which is so essential in meditation. And I'm by no means an expert in meditation, but I have experienced some things that I think work. And I credit this to my teacher, Forrest Knudsen. You can find his channel on YouTube. He's the best. So, the most important aspect of this exercise, practicing the presence of God, is not to visualize, not to hear anything, but to imagine what it would feel like if he was by your side. When you do this, when you have the feeling of a sensed presence, the images, the auditory messages will come by themselves. All you have to do is imagine the feeling, and then hold the feeling. Try to intensify the feeling. A good tip is to, while feeling the feeling, put some attention on your heart. So while you imagine the presence of God, put some attention on your heart also. You can also do this with the third eye. So you sense his presence and you put some of your attention on your third eye. And soon enough, you might feel love. You might feel a sense of being protected. You might have a vision of light, of a beautiful light just watching you and loving you. You might have a dream. So after a while, what will happen is you'll be doing something, washing your dishes or walking home and you will feel a presence without doing anything, without imagining it. And this happens because you have built pathways into your brain which sends these presences. It's the same type of feeling when you are uh, sitting somewhere and you feel someone is watching you. You know, that, that sixth sense. So this presence can be both good and bad. It can be a malevolent being, it can be a good being, it can even be, of course, people from the real life. It applies here also. But, you know, one day you'll walk and you will feel this angelic presence, your guardian, your higher self, this divine feeling, it will come. And in the meanwhile, you should practice feeling God here with you in every moment. So, I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope you practice the presence of God, sensing God by your side, or sensing Jesus or Krishna or your diseased ones, your loved ones, your mother, your brother, whoever you like. And I hope I can build a small community here on YouTube where I can share my experiences because I have studied this for years now and I still do. 
and I'm not an expert, but I have suffered so much from misapplied spirituality. And it's my dream to, to share this and help other people not go through the same thing, make it easier for themselves, because this path of ascension, of, of enlightenment, of connecting to your higher self can be much more fun, much more joyous. You don't have to suffer so much. Until next time.